On the broadcast tonight, use of force. President Obama asked for new war powers in the fight against ISIS after the death of an American aid worker. Why six months into the fight is the president now asking for Congress's okay? Outrage after the killing of three Muslim students in a storied college town. The question tonight, was it an argument over a parking spot or was it a hate crime? The American sniper trial opens in Texas. And as Chris Kyle's widow takes the stand, the ominous message her husband texted a friend on the day he died about the man now on trial for his murder. And $500 million up for grabs. Tonight's the night, one of the largest jackpots in American history, and lines are growing all across the country. Nightly News begins now. From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News. Reporting tonight, Lester Holt. Good evening. Now to the story many of you are talking about tonight, and one that for us not only hits close to home, but in our home. Brian Williams, anchor and managing editor of Nightly News, has been suspended by NBC management for six months without pay. In a statement, NBC News President Deborah Turner said on Friday, January 30th, Brian misrepresented events which occurred while he was covering the Iraq War in 2003. It then became clear, she says, that on other occasions, Brian had done the same while telling that story in other venues. She adds this was wrong and completely inappropriate for someone in Brian's position. In a statement, NBC Universal Chairman Steve Burke said by his actions, Brian has jeopardized the trust millions of Americans place in NBC News. But he added, Brian deserves a second chance and we are rooting for him. And now, if I may, on a personal note, say it is an enormously di difficult story to report. Brian is a member of our family, but so are you, our viewers, and we will work every night to be worthy of your trust. We'll take a break now. Much more still ahead on this Wednesday evening. Sk